Hey everyone, it's Sam from Pain Scout here, and I just wanted to hop on today and talk to you about tiered options and what that would look like on an estimate. So basically a tiered option would be, you know, if you're giving your customer the option to choose between a good, better, and best paint, or even if you're maybe giving them different pricing for cutting and rolling versus spraying. So today we'll just take a look at an example I created of an interior estimate, and let's just say we want to give our customers the option to upgrade to a better or best paint. Now, I do have this interior preparation line item on my estimate that I include on my interior estimates, and it does have this little tidbit just about paint information here, and it basically tells them that I've quoted all areas with the base grade paint, but if you wanted to upgrade, just let me know, okay? So that's one option. Um, you could do it this way. You could also just create a line item just for, you know, information on paint. This would be kind of cool because if the client does come through and say that they want to upgrade, you could come back to the estimate and remove that line item um, without removing any other information. And that way they're not getting confused like, hey, I paid for the paint upgrade, but, you know, I still see this on the estimate. So I'm just going to add this paint information line item. And it's pretty much the exact same thing as this tidbit I had up here, basically just saying some information about the paint in this uh, particular line item. I'm also just going to move that to the top by dragging and dropping. Great, so that's been added to our estimate. So what's our next steps? So first things first is we're gonna figure out how much it's going to cost to upgrade paints. Now, the way that I see a lot of users do this is by heading to the calculation section in your sidebar menu and just looking at how much materials cost. So for example, um, if this is $250 in materials and I know that it normally is about a 15% increase to upgrade to duration and a 20% increase to upgrade to emerald. Keep in mind, these are just examples. That's not accurate. But if that, that's the case, I'm just going to figure out the cost for both. So I'll do 250 times 15% and then 250 times 20% just to figure out the difference it's going to cost. So once I've done my math and I figured that out, I'm going to go ahead and add my upgrade options to my options section on the estimate. So I'll just head down to options and I'm going to choose a line item, which I've already created to make this easy. So I'm going to have my upgrade to better and best paint. So I'm just going to choose better as the first one, which is going to be my duration. Same thing as before. I just have, you know, I've listed the paint and then basically some information on the paint and why you would, why you maybe would want to choose this paint, right? This is where I would enter that number I calculated, 15% times 250. I would enter this in here. I'm not quick enough at math to do that right now, so I'm just going to add the line item. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for my emerald. So I'm just going to find my emerald line item. I would calculate how much this costs, and I'm going to add that. Perfect. So then from here, let's take a look at what this looks like from your client's POV. I'm just going to go to the send drop-down menu and select preview. So great, I'm, I'm on site presenting, or this is what my customer sees when they open it in their email. They're reading through the estimate. They see this um, little tidbit about paint information and they're like, yes, I do wanna upgrade. I've told them that they need to um, accept the option before they accept the estimate so they know exactly what to do. Um, let's say my customer just wants to upgrade to Emerald. So they're gonna click add option and then they're gonna accept the estimate like normal. They're gonna sign and accept. Perfect. So now your customer has gone ahead and, you know, they've included their paint upgrade. It shows it for you because it's included in the options accepted. And now all you have to do is remember to include this on the work order. So I'm going to go in here and edit my product description, and I'm going to change all of this super paint to emerald. Perfect. So that's how you include tiered options on your estimates. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can reach out to us at support at Thank you so much for watching.